protect yourself and your family from unexpected challenges. Consider accident only income protection. Click the link in the description to find out more. Boxing King Media in association, association with the Riyadh season. Uh, Shane, it's the end of the week, uh, the fight's done dusted. We were talking early in the week about different scenarios, whether if your brother stops him in a round or two, it's, it's going to come out negative. If it goes to points, it's going to be negative. And we were talking about that middle ground. We got the fourth option that which nobody expected. Yeah, the, um, <clears throat> it was definitely uh, not an outcome what we thought, thought was going to take place. We're all deflated, really. We're all very deflated. Um, but it's an eye-opener. It's an eye-opener. And really, it's the blessing in disguise, which I'll try and explain in a minute. But um, we got the win. Um, and I don't think there's really anyone who think what thought he didn't win. He won. He won. What did he win? He won, he won quite comfortable. But the thing is... Ngannou's a winner, isn't he? Ngannou, for him to for him to do what he'd done against Tyson, even though he didn't win, he's still a winner. If that makes sense, he can go on. He can go on. He's a handful. He's a lot. It's a combination of Tyson having a really bad night, um, and Ngannou being a lot better than what we thought he was going to be, because it was definitely a lot better than what I thought he was going to be. Is there any element in the fight, because obviously you, you'll have seen public opinion in the last 24 hours, is there any element of Tyson not preparing properly for him or underestimating him? Because uh, there's a lot of consensus about the way he looked body shape wise, people are saying he didn't look fit. Uh, I think Johnny Nelson's done an interview today, he didn't look like he, he, he probably prepared for it properly. Obviously you, you're with him most of the time, what do you think? It's a, it's a combination of a lot of things. Now I'm going to ramble on now for five minutes. I know Tyson probably more so, he, more so than anyone, obviously. Grew up with an old one. And I know through his boxing career, he's had patchy moments. Like, he's had really good performances where he's been unstoppable and the greatest. And then he's had not so good performances. And the good performances has always been behind a bad performance. A good performance has always come when he's needed it. When, he, when he's up against the wall, that's when the performances come. When the bad performances come, it's be coming off of everyone blowing smoke up his ass. He's the greatest. He's this, he's that, and so on. Um, he's a one-punch knockout artist. He's smashed Deontay Wilder. He's, he's knocked out Duva Fowler in one punch, and so on. And, and probably that, that's a weakness. That's probably one of Tyson's weaknesses. Probably listening to the shit. And it's all right, it's all right saying... You're gonna um, oh I've 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 and there's been no excuses in camp. He's done proper training camp. And done the best he can, but the thing is, when everyone's got the aura about we're moving on to the next fight, we're getting a watch, we've got a watch give. Oh, this man's given us fucking a three million pound sponsor deal and, and so on, just diviness. Yeah. We've gotta go like just just stuff like <laughs> yeah, yeah. Did you, even though oh, I might gonna, I might gonna, I might be saying I can't really illustrate it, but you can say something, but really your body not really believe it or act like it. Go basically training, but going through the motions in the gym. Now that was not the case training, but I mean like all the way through. I'm gonna I'm, take, I'm gonna take this man serious. I'm taking him serious, but he. <laughs> It, none of us, it didn't feel like a fight night. Normally, it's like we're uh, fucking trembling and we're, and we're thinking, right, you've got to do this and do that. And the day before, we was eating dinner and taking pictures with people. So there's a combination of it, that there. And another thing is, he's, um, he's had, however long he's had out of camp, 12 months, and he's had five weeks with his boxing coach. Five weeks with his boxing coach. I know it, it, it might, it's like, it's not excuses because we got the win. Quite clearly we got the win. Um, but the win, was, was, the win wasn't good enough 
because we was expected to do so much more. But if it was a, if it was a, if it was a qualified opponent in there properly, we would have been having a party now. But because it was Francis Ngannou, an MMA fighter, which I said, which will be as good as all of them, I didn't think he was going to be that good because he was dangerous. He, he threw the right hand, the left hook was coming behind it. Partly because of Tyson's feet wasn't there, but um, basically out the ring for 12 months and basically Sugar come over five, uh, six weeks ago, however long it was, uh, and it's just not, just not good enough. It's not good enough. You can push your finger in him, and it's just not good enough. But the blessing in disguise is a. I know it's a blessing in disguise from history, from the past past job. He has a bad performance. Realize it's him in the face reality, and he trains and he and he gets things right. Things got it. There's not a lot what needs to change. There's generally not a lot what needs to change. Not a lot what needs to change. But just. Sugar's got to stay over, really. We're going to have a week off and build on it. We're going to have a week off. I don't even know when the date is, but from, from now to the date, it's going to be working uh, of what it is. And, and things, things, things will come too. And I'm, I'm actually... It couldn't have worked out in, in God looking at it. It couldn't have worked out any better. Because if he would have blew him out and around and say if Ngarni wasn't as good as he was and he blew him out and around and he went in with the same shite as what was going what what's been going. Listen, the same I, I basically trying to say if you turned up like that against Usyk. It wouldn't have been good enough. Yeah. It was not it wasn't gonna be good enough. Yeah. Now he's had an eye opener, which he does need every every now and again. He had an eye opener with the bloody um the Wallen fight. He come back and fought the best fight he's ever fought in his life. You know, he had um, all through his career, he's had, he's had patchy moments. But the thing is, he's good enough to come through him, even when he is patchy. So yeah, um, but I believe God has a plan for both men, and it was an eye opener. It, it was an eye, God's plan was for Tyson, and a lot of people will think this man's mental. But an eye opener, like right, you've had a sticky fight. You need to change, you need to alter your job, and you need to can build on what you've got rather than send him away for three months and then having him back for three weeks. Do you understand? Build on what you've got when we're all agreeing, and that's what needs to take place. And a few other things as well, which we'll have a chat about. And we'll, have, we'll have to just have a think and probably just whatever, think about it and have a, have a think. And, and Nganu, even though he, he quite clearly lost a fight, he had a little bit of a moral victory and he's going to go on again and do other stuff, isn't he? So really, looking at it, how to, how, to, how to give props to both men, if you're looking down at like God would be, would be it was the best outcome what could have happened. One is an eye-opener for Tyson uh, to change his job up and to build on what he's got rather than letting it go down and then rebuild to the stage he's there now. I knew a fella has got beat but put a good up account of himself and then on... on, on, uh, on on to the next one for it. I think people that believe in God and have faith and believe in destiny and all that kind of stuff, they'll probably understand that. You know, there needs to be a bit of fear factor in fighting. You know, if you haven't got the fear factor, that's what performance you get like that. It, oh, some, some fighters probably work differently, but Tyson needs a bit of fear factor. He, he mustn't have had any fear factor at all for him. And he come out like that. Listen, the second Wilder fight, pretty much I was in charge. And I'm not blowing my own trumpet. Yeah, I was in charge, and I've got no, no, what do you call it? No agendas. I haven't got any agenda for anything. I don't want nothing. I don't want to be anyone's mate. I don't want to get your contact and give you a call on a later date and grab some food with you and try and put a business opportunity together. I've no, no motive at all. Yeah, obviously my motive is to to try and do the best thing about Tyson, and pretty much I took rain there. Just what was happening and what wasn't. And if I said it wasn't happening, guess what? It wasn't happening. And that was it, but... I, f I, I, just, I just think, too much, too much. And I don't even know, I don't know even know, like, if you to ask me now what needs to change, I don't know. But I... 
I, I don't know. You, I, don't I know. think you've, you've explained it to me. I understand. He's saying he needed a wake-up call and you feel like he's going to have that wake-up call based on that performance. But I spoke to Usyk. Usyk is saying he had Tyson winning 7-3. And I did speak to Usyk about his Chisora performance. And I said, it seems like a similar sort of story. Obviously, Chisora and, and Gone were different people. But he had a lot of criticism. People are saying he's not good enough to be a heavyweight. But obviously, he's, he's proven everyone, everyone wrong. He's got all the belts bar one. So uh, sometimes, I think that maybe possibly does that prove that you can have an off night and unfortunately in this sport people judge you on that one bad night listen it was a combination of a lot of things listen it was a combination of him like i said 12 month out the ring and having a and having a having your trainer with you trying to put your bad habits right what you've learned in the last 10 months um a combination of the man being a lot better than what we thought he was going to be and even listen real realistically you know, he, that might be Tyson. No, I'm hoping not. I'm open. I'm open. That's not him. But at the end of the day, he's 35 years old, and like I say, people go overnight. And I'm open. That's not Tyson because you see him much different in the gym, and it's totally it was chalk and cheese. So I'm open that that's not the case. But yeah, last thing I want to uh, ask you, Shane, is obviously Eddie Hearn, uh, He was he did a few interviews last night, and three things he basically said. He feels based on that performance Anthony Joshua stops Tyson in six rounds uh, he was also open to the idea of AJ fighting Ngannou um, just your thoughts on that listen Eddie Hearns Eddie Hearns what he is isn't he listen he's in no man's land at the minute he's trying to beg someone for a fight um, that's what it is he might fight Ngannou I'd probably back Joshua to him but I don't think it'd be easy uh, I don't think it'd be too easy um, and I think Tyson said he's not going to have the chance no more to fight Tyson. It's his straight. Um, going on the last performances of uh, Joshua as well. Listen, I'm not going to run Joshua down because, again, he's, um, he's in the same boat. Tyson, there's a lot of miles on the clock, and we don't know if that is him at the minute. Until they prove us different, we don't know. We can change what we need to change in camp and do the best we can. But really, is that the guys? Are they doing... Well, obviously, they're doing the best they can, but is that just done? And until they totally prove us wrong, it's, it, it's, it's, uh, it's a question, isn't it? So we'll try and, um, we'll try and build on what we've, what we've got, get, get in proper shape. I think Tyson's a bit heavy. I'd like to see him a bit lower. Um, I'd like to see him... Yeah, about the 18 and a half, 18, 10. Between 18, 7, 18, 10. I think he needs to do that for Usyk to be... Fast, he'll still be strong and, and big, but he'll be faster on his feet and so on. Um, but listen, I'm confident. I, do you know what it is? I'm more confident now. I'm deflated. It feels like some my guts has turned inside out, and I'm not happy at all. Everyone around me, I've been looking at him, ponting around and all big tights and everything else, and I've been in my room boiling. Yeah, I'm up, not upset because I know he's done the best he can, and that's just it. But I'm I'm more 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 not more happy. Now, I don't know the word for it. There's a light at the end of the tunnel with the performance because I know in his own head things have changed and he's done it all the way through his career. You know what I love about you, Shane. Like you could genuinely see the love you've got for your brother because because oh. you speak with so much passion and it, it doesn't. It's not false and you, you're you're speaking the truth and you wouldn't bullshit him either. And I, that's the vibe I get. If you think he's shit, you'll tell him he's been shit. That's the vibe I get. I can see that's why you're passionate about... I'm, but I can't tell Tyson um, too much criticism. You can't, you can't criticism, criticise someone who's tried the best. Obviously, Tyson's a trier, isn't he? Well, he's a winner in life based on what, what he's Listen, done. He got put down heavy last night. Yeah. I, I, I like behind his ear hole. He been put down with the same shot a few times. Um, so, yeah, listen, and he gets back up. And he wins. The only issue is this fella last night. Normally, he'd get back up and think, "Fuck you," and get stuck right into you. But this fella was like pushing that brick wall. He's a strong man, and he's good. I'm telling you, that man last night was as good as heavyweight as Tyson's boxed. I think you'd be foolish to say he wasn't, because he, he, he was very good. One, one of the hardest fights. The, the, matter of fact, that man is the only man Tyson's never ever beat up. Tyson had to nick a nick a, um, a, a punch decision. He never beat him up. He hit him with a few good shots and he was firing back every time. Uh, listen, the time when he got knocked down, it was a one-two, 
bang, bang, and then straight back with a left hook into on top of the head. So that's the only fight Tyson's never actually beat up. Tyson had to Tyson actually get a nick, like box his way to a decision. Listen, he boxed terrible, Tyson. Someone else might go in there and blow up, blow Ngannou away, but he, he was a lot better than what we thought. But Tyson, Tyson was probably like out of a hundred. Uh, let's say, let, let's say a hundred is his best, and what he normally performs at is eighty-five. I would say that last night was probably 30, 30. There was no footwork. There was no footwork, loading up with everything, no jabs. It was a bad night at the office. But I'm glad he had a bad night there and against Lucy. But believe me, you might, always, you might think these men tell, tell people a load of lies and everything else. Listen. Usyk's a tricky, good boxer, isn't he? But who, there's more danger in a man what can knock a house down than someone what's going what's gonna to hit your three punches and skip away. Three punches, what's not going to bust your nose? And I know Usyk can punch, and I know he probably hits hard as, hard as anyone. But the thing is, to, to be a knockout puncher, you've got to fight like a knockout puncher. Tyson can hit as hard as anyone. If he, set, if he stands on his... Stands on his feet and he and he fights like he wants to punch, but through his early career, he's not just developed out a punch. He never wanted to because it was defence first, and 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 rest after. So the thing is, Usyk can do it, but from the style of what we're seeing, he don't fight like that. So we're not really it is what it is. We'll see. It'll be a good fight. We're confident, um, and I'm more confident now, believe it or not, because there's been. Listen, sometimes in life you've got to, if everything's dandy all the time, yeah, you've got to have something to go wrong before you realise it's good. Does that make sense? Like, if everything's smooth all the way, how do you know if it's good or bad? So uh, once it's smooth and it's all really good, and then something goes wrong, then you think, fucking hell, that was good back then. Who's was that there again? But if it was smooth, you're looking at the next thing and never happy. So sometimes it's get, get back to ground and go again. Uh, we'll have a chat with him not really much to chat about but there'll be no business the next fight I'm going to be in charge I'm going to have a chat with Tyson out to our I'm going to be in charge there'll be no business the business will be done you do the, you do, you do the business before everything's sorted because there's no business a month before the fight and be gone we're going to do as little interviews as possible we're going to sell the fight before the, there's going to be a week, uh, week, week conference before that we go into camp and after then we're switching off because we've got a job to do. Shame for you. It's been an absolute pleasure speaking to you. Thank you for giving me your time and please uh, do allow us in the camp next time again because it's been a pleasure and uh, thank you. Come on, cheers, mate. Protect yourself and your family from unexpected challenges. Consider accident-only income protection. Click the link in the description to find out more.